What's the dollar amount I that think, my final item would go for? I think $5,000. $5,000. We're going to turn this into $5,000, folks. I got my kids outside in the back of my sister's yard catching a humble roly-poly. Starting with this roly-poly that Kira named Blaze, my plan is to go to the reptile show, find all the cool people with all the cool animals, and trade up until I get as high a value as I can, then donate the final item to the U.S. Ark Auction on Saturday night. All of a sudden, I'm starting to wonder if this was such a good idea. $5,000, I have to trade this jar with an isopod. I better hurry up and get started. I've only got a few hours today and then all day tomorrow. All right, guys, this looks like a pretty good place to start. It says isopods.com. I'm gonna try to get like a value assessment on Blaze the isopod here and see where we can go with that. Hey, how you doing? This is Blaze the isopod. It has a succulent and some dirt and stuff. You being like the only isopod guy that's here so far, I wondered if you might give me like a value assessment so I know where to start. He has like a, a silvery stripe on him and there's some dirt in there and a snail shell. This is great. We're gonna get an accurate value assessment here. Straight from isopod.com. So it's a, it's a common vulgari. I mean, most people find them in the backyard, so yeah. you're probably looking at, you know, give or take probably 10 to 15 cents. Do you have anything that's worth maybe a little more than 10 to 15 cents at your table that you would trade for Blaze the isopod? Uh, let's see what I got. There you go. What is this? It's Cubera species snow bee. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so the Wait, snow bee. Wait, about $350. That's not the price, is it? Yeah, it is. $350. You're, uh, you're not a very good negotiator. So we got one sitting right here. Oh my goodness. $350 Cubera snow bee. So what is the, the value proposition? Because I'm a moron. I don't know anything about this. They're basically a recent import. Okay. Uh, those are actually captive bred from the import. And you're probably looking at maybe six months uh import from for this year they've only been in the u.s for six months yeah. that's pretty incredible now Thank blaze so. has found a new home blaze so. has found a new home and i have no idea how to take care of them but i'm sure you got to figure it out all right buddy <laughs> wow 350 dollars cuberis snow bee uh colony here they've literally only been in the united states for six months ladies and gentlemen we have our first trade hi how's your day going so far so good you look like you're just getting started my question would be if you would be interested in trading for some rare Kubaras for maybe something we'll else on your table. probably add a bid to it if you do trade them into that. We'll probably bid on it. All right, well, I'll see how high I can get. You guys can run it. Do you do roaches at all? Oh, look at this. My gift to you. Wow. Well, we didn't make a good trade, but I did add some chrome roaches to my Kuberis. Are you into inverts at all? Not really, but I like them. Let's okay, these are chrome roaches. <laughs> this is what's really special. These are new. Um, they're called snow bees. What you, you traded up to I, those? I, yeah, well, they're 350 and I got 30 bucks worth of chrome roaches How many are in here. I have no idea. We're gonna say two. So they're worth $175 each and the rest of them are free. I think there's actually like it's a half a dozen right in there. But I don't know, is that something that you might be interested in? You think that you guys have something here that might be able to sweeten the deal in my favor a little bit. I could probably trade up a gecko for you, so then yeah, you can trade a crest of gecko, so then you yeah. can trade that up and keep going. Hey, wait, we have something that's gonna do that one by a lot. Oh, that one looks sick. That's dope. So, cutie, what would you value? So this is really rare, but obviously this is worth way more. This is gonna be easier. This is gonna be harder, but definitely worth like three times that amount. Just... Crusted geckos, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What so would you like, guys be you... pricing these at at the show? We don't even know yet. Yeah, we we, we gotta look decided. at our books. The lily white, I'm not doing less than 2.8K. Boy, that, so is a, that is a tough one. I was this many days old when I realized that people were buying crusted geckos for $6,000. Which one do you think I will have an easier time trading out? I think your next step to trade would be that one because it's a little bigger and we'll add that one into the choices. That's the mom right there. The red one? Wow. Yeah. All right. Oh, you guys got a freaking trade. That's something I would post. Yeah, this Minimum one. 750, max 900. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Yeah. All right. We got a trade, man. Pure Pine Island Chihuahuas. I like that. I like that. Oh, I was getting a little bit nervous there with those Kuberas. I love my, my roly polies, but I was in over my head, to be honest with you guys. I don't know enough about the value and how crazy they offered me babies from $6,000 adult on the Cresties with the Lily Whites. Comment below, maybe I made a mistake taking the Pure Pine Island 
but I had to go pure locality. I think that, um, that that's a value proposition that, that I can understand and get behind. What, what's your name? Greg. All right, I have to break into Snake. <laughs> this is a phenomenal gecko. I will trade you that for one of your beautiful boas or pythons, the ball pythons would work too, and I will help you hang your back banner. I'll do a ball python. Sweat equity. Not Price tag's a little bit lower, but I think I can I think I can work that snake. Oh yeah. Would you do that trade for me? We'll do All it. right. I'll All help right. you put your banner up. Thank you very much. You got a deal. Take care guys. Thank you. Have a good show. Yeah, buddy. We're into snakes. I'm sorry, South Bay Reptiles. I feel a little bit bad about trading down your gecko, but it's not about you, it's more about me. I think I can work a little bit better with this snake. And now that I've got it, I might be able to make a couple trades just to get my value back up. You wanna see my, my snake? Just mostly want it. You guys tell me that you're proud of me, that's all. Oh, that's nice. Hey, look who I found over here. It's Chad Brown from uh, Ship Your Reptiles. All right, so I, I want to show you what I got here. What do you have? Well, go ahead, you can hold it. This morning, my daughter Kira caught a roly-poly in my sister's garden. Mm -hmm. And I brought it here. I got it appraised by the isopod guy who said it was worth 10 to 15 cents. I've been trading <laughs> up all day, and I am up to a female ball python, GHI Mojave Harley. Oh You've done well for yourself. Tomorrow, Phil says I have until the auction to get up to $5,000. Whatever I end up trading up to, I'm going to donate to the auction. Nice. and see how much money we make. You are such a slick talking dude, out. I have no doubts. How's Very that for nice. a roly poly? Still rolls. Aww. Very nice. So my thoughts for the day, you know, I almost gave up at the gecko. Then I found out Chad likes geckos and I could have traded him for like a ship your reptiles coupon or something. That's the only people we use when we ship our stuff. So I'm sure that would have gone well. But I traded away and into snakes. I don't regret it. I have a really beautiful ball python here, but uh, yeah, these guys, oh no, he got it. <laughs> Get chased down the Steelers players? He still got it. <laughs> so I guess we're going to dinner now. Yes, we are going to dinner. Well, guys, the convention center is behind me. I'm waiting for my lift with this beautiful little ball python female. It was a long day. Now we just gotta take it from this ball python up to 5,000 bucks. Let's see if we can pull that off tomorrow. All right, guys the morning of day two i have my beautiful mojave ghi harley female and this place looks packed already let's get inside there and see if we can trade up all right so i got my beautiful ball python and i know the reptile factory was talking about a super dwarf that's a pretty big trade up so maybe i can regain my momentum after switching from geckos to snakes check out what i got for you daniel okay so what do you have here this is very pretty this never gets old this is absolutely beautiful yeah. so you want to try a super dwarf now or you want to wait and get something closer to a pure like i mean a year or a pure we can do a pure but a little more value. But i need to come back huh yeah just a little more what do you think about this that's a female she's 50 yeah. percent calatella what, what do you think about that is that a fair trade 50 percent calatella we can uh, definitely do it the retail on this at the shops yeah it's 750. Yeah. The okay. discounted price of the show is five hundred. So anybody who gets it, it's a seven hundred fifty dollar animal. Yeah. Look at that. We got yourself a deal. Thank you, All right, sir. Thank you I very much. You. I love you, man. Love hey, what's stuff. up, dude? How's exactly. it going? I'm rescued, replicated in San Diego. Oh, cool. Good to meet I you. I follow you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. I love your stuff, bro. All right, yeah. thanks. All right, guys. With this female super dwarf, I might be able to get over here to TSK, get them to get me something pretty special. Good morning. Look what I got. It's a super dwarf. You guys want to get into the super dwarf thing? When's the last time you had a super dwarf? Never. Never. <laughs> Perfect. And it's a snake. You guys can take care of it. He told me it's a female. You might want to double check. But that's a that's about a seven hundred fifty dollars snake. He says in his shop. We don't need retic. <laughs> no, you don't think so? This is a super dwarf. Give me back thirty years. Okay. And we can talk about all right, Sorry. I'll have to trade for something smaller yes. and come back around. These guys drive a hard Wait, bargain. I'll have to decline for now. All right, let's find something smaller and we'll come back over to yes. TSK. All right, guys, we got the gang here. And these guys are saying that, is it Jacob? Jacob. Jacob. I don't think we've met yet before. Probably would love to have a female super dwarf like this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bald guy, really big beard. Found them. They're hiding over here at the Best Dressed Balls booth. <laughs> this is Jacob. You guys know Antoine. I was heard you, I heard you were into it too. Here's what I was thinking. If I'm going to go for a ball python, I I think being the super dwarf guy, I'd be embarrassed if I couldn't get at least $1,000 and trade 
good value for this nice 50 percent superdor female and if i was going for a ball python i would think it would have to be something that would be like strong core base value like everyone knows that's worth a thousand bucks at least what do you think about this that's a 300 dollars richer trade than what antoine wouldn't give me that's a pretty animal what are you thinking go ahead take her out she's freaking hot She's freaking hot. I think we got him. Look how, look at his soul is in turmoil right now. <laughs> yeah, this girl right here. Super pastel, black pastel, and she hypo, 100% head desert ghost. This is a visual recessive of it. Oh, I get it. She's freaking hot. Yeah, whatever, let's do it. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> All right. He didn't like my isopods yesterday. That's a $2,000 female ball python right there. You got something nice like that for me? I, I need it to be pretty, Jimmy. It's gotta be pretty. Wow, that is pretty. Look at that beautiful super gravel. That is lower though. Yeah, it is lower. I need a phenomenal yellow belly female there. Oh, mm, 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 mm. look man, all your high price ones ran away. I need to trade up. I need to trade up pretty hard. All right, fellas. KG&D, I have bomb projects. Right there. Bomb projects? Yeah, see what All right. they have That's a good tip. I like these tips. These tips are working. Clown pipe female. That would be a good, good trade if you ask me. Bomb projects. Let's go see what's up. What up? How you doing, what's my up, friend? How you, How you doing? doing? I was actually sent your way. So I asked the ball python crowd what would be a good trade for this, and they said clown pipe female. Absolutely good trade. Do you know anyone with clown pie females? Definitely go see John's Jungle. He's got a clown pie female? Several. I'm stealing your guy for a minute. What's up, buddy? I think I got something for you. Uh -oh. Clown pie female. I heard you had some. Don't they have said any this. Clown pie. You don't. No. You don't you, have you only any. Have, only have miss. No, I don't have any clown pie. What are you talking about? Um, John has everything. No, He's I, hiding it. I'm what? not. I'm He's not. hiding it. I'm working it for you, John. All right. You got the, uh, something for me? What do you, what you got? So you're putting me on the spot. Yes. 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 I told him I was going to do exactly that. <laughs> How you I'm doing? looking for a carampa. You're looking for a carampa, aren't we all? Yeah, but you're the guy you're talking that has to the right guy. I'm the only guy that has them. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. We need to add a waiting list. I have it. Send me an email, info okay. at reachoutreptiles.com. Okay. Get on the waiting list. Yeah, I got these couple males that are pretty bang, and I think I'd be willing to do a pastel butter chocolate clown. Okay. I think this is like six grand on my list, four grand at the show. Or I'd probably do this one too, a lesser black hair clown. Let's get up to size, you know. Boy, well, that's a very generous officer. Hey, like thanks, John. You got a deal. All right. Thank Just you, my man. That's a beautiful animal, man. We are at 5,000, but we I got more time. Five. You want to watch me throw this on in Phil yeah. Goss's face? Absolutely. Hey, Phil, five. you like What's apples? Up? What are we up to? Uh, How do you like them apples? Oh. Dang, look at that, folks. What number did I say? $5,000. I know that Brian's going to want to get in on this trade at some point. We may be getting pretty close to outclassing him. Brian, I would like your Enchi Spodnose Red Stripe Pinstripe Clown, please. I don't think so. Ready to rock. $5,000 show value. They said that's at least a $6,500 animal. They said this is at least $6,500 animal? Yeah. Then why does it say $5,000 on it? Because that's show price. It's like how you said you would not take less than $10,000 for your sunset, and you got it at $9,999. With that, this should be at $6,499. Okay, fair. I got to trade up, though, and yours is at... 6900 Mine's a female. Yes, but you can use this right now. I figure this is your last chance to get in on this trade because we're about to go crazy. What I'm saying is I have all of these jeans in clown already. Oh. Let me just say, first of all, that I am very impressed. All right, see you later. You guys see what happens once you get into ball pythons? Oh. You guys want to do a boa yet? <laughs> <laughs> I have a strategy. So the ball pythons are cool. It is hard with a male because not that the value is not there, but it's like you need less males and very specific males. So it might be difficult for me to find the right person to do this. But I also have another thought. See, the thing about a US ARC auction, one of the reasons why people love to go and support them in this way is that you can get animals really inexpensively there. And an animal like this may not actually pull the full 5,000, even though that's like show value price, right? But I know some items that do work, usually things like artwork, books, rare items. If I can cater to one of the high rolling bidders and get them an item that they like, I should be able to fetch a better price at the auction. I think now that I've climbed that ball python ladder quite a bit, I might try to swap into something else like artwork.
So this is Rami. This is actually his show. Yeah, right here. Look at my name tag. Do you see my name tag? Very official. My daughter made it. Who do you think would be like one of the big time bidders? Because I want to I wanna trade for something that they would like and that would ensure my success, knowing that I've got a bidder in my back pocket. And then I'll, I'll just bid them all the way up. I know Chad Brown, Shippy Reptiles. There you go. He throws down. I was gonna think, I was gonna say Chad. That's I know Mark and Kim Bell are big time supporters, but they're not here. Maybe the other guys from Timberline will be there. Maybe Andy will be there and maybe he'll- uh, Got some budget for it? Yeah, maybe he'll bust out Todd's checkbook or something. It was at this moment that I began to realize that the bidders I've been counting on to be at this auction simply were not there. 5G's, buddy. So here's the thing. You bid at auctions, I bid at auctions. Right. We know how this works. Animals never fetch full retail value. Typically not. Even though I have a $5,000 value animal, I don't know that anyone's gonna bid $5,000 on that animal. I think you'll be lucky to get over 2,500. So I need to make some more trades, but the types of items that go at these auctions for retail or higher is typically things like artwork mm -hmm. or just random items that people really want. I suspect you might be one of the bigger bidders at this auction tonight. Typically I bid uh, high on art, yes. I happen to know a guy who's looking for some custom Tamura Designs enclosures. That would be me. So maybe if I could talk them into a ball python for some shop credit, we might be able to get some serious value? Yes. If you make it happen, then I'll make it happen. What was your name again? I'm Tori. So Tori's working over here at Tamura Designs and they have these gorgeous enclosures. What I would really like is to trade for some, some credit at Tamora Designs that I could then auction off at the auction tonight. Because I think I will fetch more money for sale. US art. That's a good sale. He is not into ball fighting. Best laid plans of mice and men. Ugh, there's a lot of rejection in this game. Would you be willing to do a pair at this value? Because I know that I can trade up from there quite a bit. This is something that I have to give it a, a minute to think about it. All right, let's give him a minute, folks. Let's give him a minute. I think as pretty as that animal is, I don't have enough value to do a trade. This is very high end, but I don't think I can come close to it. Ah. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, hey, thank you thank very, you very much. much. All right, well, we still have the $5,000 ball python, but the family is here now. What do you guys think for Blaze the Isopod up to a $5,000 ball python? I don't know who trades for the isopod. Hold on, look at this. We got Katie. Katie Bugler used to work with me. Hi, Katie. Hi. I've been doing the trade-up thing. You've heard about oh, this. Oh, God. Okay, what do you have now? I just yes. thought it would be funny to buy your dog off of you. That is, I mean... And I think that might be something people would bid for at the auction. After a desperate attempt to get Katie's therapy dog from her, I was just completely out of ideas. At this point, I really didn't know what I was going to do, except maybe go to the big dog of ball pythons himself. You guys know Dave Levinson here. I figure this guy might be my best chance. Would you be interested in this $5,000 ball python for something that is worth more than $5,000. We'll find something for it. Evidence too right there. Holy smokes. You happy with that? I am very happy with that. You have a deal, sir. Thanks, Dave. Of course, happy to help. Brian Costco! Brian Costco! Where are you? I think I have a trade for you for your sunset. What, what you, you've gone up more? Yeah. Will you trade me that for your sunset? You wanna see him? And that's when I showed him my pair of Enchi Triple Het Sunset Clown Albinos. Turn your camera off. <laughs> well, Brian Cusco said no. Everyone always asks me to turn the camera off when they say no. I feel like it's that they don't wanna look bad in front of you. But I don't think they would look bad. It's all in good fun, right guys? After that final rejection, it was time to go to the US Arc auction and just see how much money we could pull in from our roly poly. Garrett Hart is going to tell us the story for the next item of the night. So my 11-year-old daughter caught a roly-poly in the backyard of my sister's garden. As I recounted the tale of how we started from a 15 cent roly poly and traded up to what might have been the best pair of ball pythons available at the show that day, that sinking feeling of self doubt began to creep in as I realized that somebody out there in this audience would have to raise their hand and put cash behind this value if it was going to count for anything at all. $8,500 pair of balls. We're starting it at a thousand bucks on this. I got a thousand right here. Twelve hundred there. I need fourteen. I got fourteen. I got sixteen. I got eighteen. I need two thousand. I got two thousand. 
22 here and 24. 24 Chad and 26. I got 26 Chad and 28. I got 28 and 3,000. I got 3,000 and 3,200. I got 32 in the middle, 32 and 34. I got 34 and 36. If you got 32, you got 36. 3,600. I got 36 new men and John and 38. 38 Chad and 4,000. 4,000 going once. 4,000 going twice. Sold it, Chad Brown, $3,800. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek. $3,800 pulled hard cash in. Thank you, Chad. Brown. Thank you, Chad. Brown. My favorite Steelers player ends up with an awesome pair of ball pythons for Roly Poly. But I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out.